Yes, so now the librarian profession has a cartographer career, and it will uh, buy and sell map-related items, uh, where the two new items are um, the ocean exploration map and the woodland exploration map. And I will show you what the woodland exploration map is a little bit later. But now, what I'm doing here, essentially, is that the map shows your relative position to the map. So I'm looking at the, at the sun to, see, to figure out which way is north. So I know, because when I look at the map, I'm, I'm, my dot is in the lower right corner, so I know I need to go northwest to reach my destination. A warning, though, if the dot is small, it means that on your world, the location is really far away. <laughs> and uh, uh, you should see it more like a, an expedition. Um, that's just a warning. <laughs> but uh, it, is, uh, it, it will guarantee you to show, show you the location of, uh, in this case, an ocean monument. And uh, since we added this system, uh, it made sense to, all, to add something else in relation to that. Yes, uh, being a command is obviously a sheet, uh, but it's super useful if you want, want to use, like in creative mode, wants to find one of the features and you don't know where it is. Uh, so it's a really uh, time saver. Uh, this command was actually a suggestion that I got on Twitter. Uh, and since I was, I was just like coding this system, I was like, oh, all right. <laughs> so it, I added it. And it, it, it can locate uh, the fortress, the end city, the stronghold, villages, uh, mine shafts, and, uh, and the, the temples. Although all the temples, they are, they are using the same system. So it can, for instance, if you, it, it will give you the nearest one. So if you try to find a temple, it might be an igloo, it might be a jungle temple, it might be a uh, desert temple. You can't really know. Uh, the command, I don't show it in the video. It takes. Uh, first, the name of the feature you want to find, and then it, you can uh, uh, give it an, uh, a starting point to s search from. And uh, similar to other commands, it can be like at p or, uh, or uh, an actual coordinate uh, for where you want to s start the search from. <clears throat> so let's continue.
Yes, we've added a new dungeon. So this uh, woodland mansion uh, is a procedurally gen generated house uh, with uh, treasures and monsters and uh, yeah, a, a cool location to explore. And uh, it's fairly uncommon. Uh, so the best way of finding it is to buy a woodland exploration map from the cartographer. And uh, this uh, dungeon is built with uh, the help of the new template system we have with the structure blocks. And I was... Uh, uh, yeah, it, I think it shows really well how, how much bigger we can now make structures and how much more interesting we can make them because the structure blocks make it so much easier to just experiment with different styles and build them out. And it was really interesting to watch you build this step by step over time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I was uh, joking about that, that uh, um, before uh, all these features were hard coded, uh, so they were really time consuming to make. Uh, so, so now we have this awesome system which should save a lot of time, but since it saves so, so much time, like the, my ambition has gone up, <laughs> so it actually takes more time now to make this. <laughs> but uh, it's really worth it. Uh, so you may wonder who's living inside of this. Yes, uh, let me introduce you to the illagers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sound? Okay. Turn the yes, so the Woodland Mansion is inhabited by these uh, ill willing villagers. They, they are the outcasts of the villages and uh, they have uh, acquired arms. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'm uh, really uh, looking forward to exp like expanding. Uh, these characters, but uh, for now we have the Vindicator who is uh, charging you with the uh, axe and the Evoker. And the Evoker, uh, beyond uh, doing its fangs attack, it can summon these small imp like creatures called the Vexes. And uh, the name comes from that they are very vexing.
It'll be very interesting to see and then we have snapshots out because it's it's not really easy right now. <laughs> I think I told you before without high end gear. It's um, probably not the best idea to go in the mansion unprepared. <laughs> no, you sh this is uh, also since uh, you need you need to find one of these exploration maps and it's uh, fairly far away. It's one of the end games uh, challenges. Um, it's not it's not as uh, I wouldn't say it's as hard as fighting one of the bosses, but if you're uh, unlucky, you can get really swamped with uh, with monsters. Yes. Um, so uh, the so one the you the evoker drops an item uh, that is also fairly useful. Yes, the totem of undying. It, uh, it's an item that activates if you're holding in either hand. So the off hand is probably the most convenient one. And you're being dealt a killing blow. That uh, activates the item and consumes it. So in this case, I would have fallen to my demise. Uh, but the, the totem saves, saves me and gives me a short period of absor absorption and uh, regeneration. <laughs> the, when I was uh, uh, testing this uh, first, I initially it would only give you regeneration, but I, I found out that you were walking around and you hear that boom, uh, it, and it activated when, you were, uh, when the creeper exploded, you would fly up in the air and then, then you would be killed by falling damage. <laughs> So I, I gave it a boost, and then uh, yeah, this uh, the animation that is displayed. I had a lot of problem getting it, getting just the right feel for it. So yeah, it was fun to watch you trying to figure out the best formula. <laughs> he was reading Wikipedia for three days to figure out how to make it look cool. But <laughs> and you realize that you'd probably change the dynamics of the next huge C event. Sorry. The dynamics of the next uh, UHC event, you probably change it a bit. <laughs> yes. If people can now protect themselves from dying. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, we have one more thing.
Yes, so may, some of you may have seen this tweet. I was actually on the Alpaca team <laughs> for this. Uh, but it was kind of funny to just uh, see what, what people would prefer. Uh, uh, obviously, like the alpacas and llamas, they are not, they are not identical animals, so we, we, we looked up what we would prefer. Like an alpaca would probably be more similar to a sheep in the sense that uh, you get f nice wool from it or fur. Um, while the llama, they are more of a beast of a burden, be no, beast of burden. <laughs> uh, so they're more similar to donkeys in a sense. Uh, so uh, they can have chests, and uh, uh, you can swag them out with uh, carpets. Um, and uh, as a fun extra, they, if you lead one of them, they will automatically try to form a caravan to, to a limit. And uh, the llamas, uh, uh, they were uh, all developed by another of our developers, Agnes. Uh, she's uh, still in Stockholm, uh, but it was really fun to see her work on this. Uh, <clears throat> yes, and obviously, llamas are famous for their spitting, and <laughs> and also uh, they even have them in Sweden in the, in sheep farms because they scare away the wolves. It's it's like uh, the wolf sees a couple of sheep and then walks in and then, what is that? And then it gets down on it. <laughs> yes. Let's see. Yep. So, yep. Eric and, uh, and Agnes and Toman and, and Sarge, they prepared the snapshot. Everything is ready, like yes. it's first the bar. We just need to go back to Stockholm. Uh, so, you can try out all of these features on Wednesday. And uh, I'm really looking forward to... <laughs> To get, to get all of your bug reports, of course, but also since uh, a, a 111 is, sent, is essentially finished, uh, we don't think that it will take that much time before we have the a full release, but it depends on how many, how many bugs there are simply. Uh, but I'm also looking forward to see all your update videos. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, yes, uh, this is our presentation. I'm very happy that all of you came, and thank you for listening. Yes. So no, now head over to the arena and play some parkour. Okay, thank you.